Hi, I'm Baptiste Collat. I'm working as a field engineer at Solar.io and today I will speak about the security policies and how you can build your own workflow using these policies. So as you know, when requests come to Envoy, they go through different filters. And one of them is the external auth filter that will connect to the external auth server where your authentication or authorization policies will be applied. And Blue Edge Enterprise comes with a set of built-in policies like OpenID Connect, Open Policy Agent, OAuth 2, Jot, and a few others. So you can compose your security workflow with these filters, uh, with these options, or you can build your own uh, authentication or authorization policy. There are two ways of doing that. Uh, first, you can build a Go plugin using obviously Golang, and this plugin will run alongside the export server. But the main drawback is that you will have to recompile your plugin every time you upgrade uh, Glow Edge Enterprise. And the other way of doing is called the pass through system. In this case, uh, authorization request will go through the export server before reaching your own authentication or authorization service. So in any case, you will be able to configure your plugin using the auth config custom resource. And underneath this config attribute, um, you can define a custom structure that will be sent to your, your, to your plugin, sorry. So that's a way for users to configure your plugin the way they want. Well, uh, in this example, I'm using another auth config object with two uh, policies. The first one is OpenID Connect, uh, which is plugged to Keycloak. And the second one is an open policy agent uh, script, which is written using the Rego, Rego language. And you can read it like that. First, it will authenticate end users and get the ID token and access token for sure. And in the second part, in this open policy agent script, it will retrieve the ID token, parse it, because this is a jot, and compare the, the email claim to this email address. And the request will be authorized if these assertions are true. All right. Like you can see right here. Next example is another of config object with two steps or so. So the first step is open ID connect one more time. And the second step is a custom plugin. And you can read it like, like this. Once my end user is authenticated, I will pass its identity to my custom access management solution. And this solution can fetch the groups that my user is a member of and authorize the request if it's the case. So that's another way of uh, doing authorization. That's it for now. Thank you.